So hi everyone and welcome to this very uh, quick video on trying to illustrate a monopoly. So uh, we're gonna uh, introduce now the concepts that we had learned so far, which are the profit maximizing conditions, the things that we associate with a monopolist's behavior and try to represent that in a graphical relationship. So uh, first thing to note is that if you go back to our discussions on perfect competition, we had a separate graph for how each individual firm would behave and how uh, the entire market would sort of look like. But in the case of a monopolist, the market and the firm level graphs, they're essentially the same graph because we only have one producer and that's the monopolist, right? So we're just gonna be using this one, uh, one graph here and we have a demand curve and as you can see, there's still that negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. Now, suppose that the monopolist, okay, the, the monopolist wanted to sell more units and wanted to increase its production. Well, uh, the monopolist, in order to do that, it has to lower its price to sell more goods. And uh, we assume that the marginal revenue, okay, on increased output will also decrease, right? And it will decrease about uh, twice as much as compared to your regular demand. So oh, let me uh, graph this one. So this will be uh, here. And this will be your marginal revenue curve. Okay. Now, uh, you also have a marginal cost curve here, which is quite similar to how it is in perfect competition. So you have marginal cost here. Now, if you recall, okay, if you recall from our discussions, okay, the profit maximizing condition for a monopolist is that the marginal revenue as some function of Q should be equal to the marginal cost, which is also some function of Q, right? So when we did, and uh, when we tried to simplify our first order condition, we got to that condition. So that uh, condition, okay, it appears somewhere here, okay? So at this point here. Now, uh, what you'll notice is how do we get, okay, the monopolist's quantity and the price that it will charge? Well, what we need to do is we need to um, bring this up to the demand curve, okay, bring this up to the demand curve. Okay, so that's a point bisected there. And the point I would intersects the demand curve is essentially the price that the monopolist will charge. So that's PM. And the quantity that it will produce is, uh, is this one, which is QM. Now, uh, we want to know whether or not the monopolist is profitable. So in order to do that, we need to uh, sort of analyze its uh, average uh, total cost curve. And so suppose we have an average total cost curve here. So say uh, ATC. And we find that here, okay, so it intersects that line there at that point. And we have here, okay, our average total cost. Okay, now, if you recall from the graphical explanations in perfect competition, you should know that uh, this entire uh, rectangle here, okay, that uh, this entire rectangle here, okay, it essentially corresponds to the revenue. Okay, so that's P times Q, right? So that's P times Q. That's the revenue of the monopolist. And the cost of the monopolist is this part here. Okay, so it's that uh, rectangle here. Now, you'll notice that uh, the revenue is, of course, much bigger than the cost. And the monopolist, in this case, earns, okay, it earns, okay, this much of economic profit. So that area there, it's abnormal profit, okay? abnormal profit which we expect under uh perfectly uh, i'm sorry under a monopolist now one thing that we'll note okay and we'll discuss this more in the other videos uh to follow is that compared okay to a perfectly competitive market there is a lower okay allocative efficiency okay and uh, a lower allocative efficiency because uh, in the case of a perfectly competitive firm, okay, if the firm were operating perfectly competitively, the condition that it would set would be P is equal to MC. So it would produce somewhere here, 
and we are going to get this quantity QPC and the price that would be charged would be much lower at PPC. And essentially, okay, because we're under a monopolist, we lost this much. Okay, so this is an area which we call as our dead weight loss. And we'll expound this more in the coming videos, but it's essentially a loss born out of uh, a loss in our allocative efficiency. And if we want to be more efficient in the economy, we should uh, sort of transit uh, the market to a more perfectly competitive market, should that be deemed most uh, feasible and most uh, optimal, given the present market conditions. So that's a simple video on trying to illustrate a monopoly. And in the next video, we're going to discuss more on a monopolist output choice and some more further concepts. Thank you for your attention.